The Drowsy Chaperone is a musical about a man in a chair who loves musicals so much, and he's going to play an old-fashioned phonograph record on an old-fashioned phonograph, and the musical that he's playing is going to come alive in his apartment. It's all in his imagination and in yours. The Drowsy Chaperone has music and lyrics by Lisa Lambert and Greg Morrison, and a book by Bob Martin and Don McKellar. The performers today will be accompanied by their musical director, Chris Drobny. The direction of the company is Jordan Yu. And now, please welcome the cast of The Drowsy Chaperone. Self-conscious anxiety resulting in a non-specific state of sadness. Say that I call it blue. <coughs> anyway, when I'm feeling this way, blue, I like to listen to my music. So I was going through my records this morning. Yes, records. And I thought to myself, let's have a treat. Let's disappear for a while into the decadent world of the 1920s, where the champagne flowed and the caviar chilled, and the whole world was a party. For the wealthy, anyway. So I dug around to see what I could find. Oh, one of my favorite shows, Gable and Stein for Drowsy Chaperone, remember? Music by Julia Gable, lyric by Sidney Stein. The two record set, remastered from the original recording made in 1928, includes the original cast, including Beatrice Stockwell. Can you believe it? I'll read to you what it says on the back. Mix-ups, mayhem, and a gay wedding. Of course, the phrase gay wedding has been from meeting now, but back then, it just meant fun. And that's what the show is, fun. So, would you indulge me? Would you let me play this record for you? Yes! I was hoping you'd say yes. So, the music starts to build, and you know you're only seconds away from the beginning of the show. The current is going up. I can't wait! Underling? Yes, madam. How do I look? You look radiant, Mrs. Cottondale. Oh, I do love this dress so. It never goes out of style. It's a miracle, madam. My dress, my dress, my fancy dress. I don't know why I'm wearing it, I must confess. My dress, my dress, I love my dress. Would someone tell me why I put it on? Yes, yes, your dress, your fancy dress. Twas such a pleasure airing it and stitching and repairing it. God bless your dress, it's one fine dress. And I will tell you why you put it on. Wedding bells will ring, wedding bells will chime, and I'm your the hostess and it's happy wedding time. Wedding bells will sing, wedding bells will song, wedding bells will sing a ling and we will sing along. Wedding guests have fun, wedding guests are here, wedding guests are at the door and soon they will appear. Janet, that star of Beltic's follies, you might love a lot. I'm George, that's George, his best man, George. I'm honored to meet you, and what a best man I am. Ah, Mrs. Condell, now don't worry about a thing. I just pull one in one now. The key is organization, see? You bring a representative task to be completed. Pay the musician, he has the horse, and book the minister. The whole wedding's going to run like clockwork. Oh, is there going to be a wedding? Feldig, producer, I lost my leading lady. I've got to stop the sweating or I'm not worth squat. I'm Kitty, just Kitty. I came with Mr. Feldig. I'll be a leading lady if I get my shot. Over the history shots, history shots, wait, cross the hearts. King of romance, so I kiss a lot. Someone has been home, someone isn't here. Where is Janet found a breath and when will she appear? Chef. 
chaperone, chaperone of Janet Van de Graaff, maid of honor, friend and confidant, and all that rot. Where's the bar? brought my own. Away, away, today. Champagne makes me drowsy. It's really happening. Truly happening. Almost happening. What is happening? I'm Trix, the aviatrix, queen of the sky. I circle through the stratus in my modern apparatus. I'm Trix, the for a love, forget what our bridegroom, a hairy producer, jovial gangsters posing as pastry chefs, a flanky Korean, a lad Lothario and an aviatrix, and of course, my favorite character, the drowsy chaper. What more do you need for an evening's entertainment? Bells will ring, bells will chime, sail afraid the happy wedding time. Bells will ding, bells will jump, bells will Wasn't that wonderful? We will be along. I don't even know what that means. Okay, I'll try and guide you through this record the best as I can. Don't worry, worry, it won't be hard to follow. So, the scene shifts and you find the glamorous Jen Vandegraaff lounging by the pool as she answers questions from the reporters. I got a question. How can you give up the footlights when you know very well that you got grease paint in your veins? Victor, please. Oh, Janet, I'm begging you. Dump the mug. Stay with the Follies. I'll give you anything you want. I'll, I'll, oh, fine. I'll put your name above mine on the marquee. <gasps> oh, Victor, if you think this is about Janet,
something. That was Jane Roberts as the bride. She was the oops girl, remember? The girl that was so beautiful that the men around her would do stupid things. Spill their drinks, drive their cars into trees. Chick chick well, I'm not doing it any justice, but people don't put it up. She made a whole series of films about it, too. Some oops. Oops girl. Oops girl comes home, and Oops girl at sea, which won an Oscar for special effects. My dear, that's something you'll have to decide for yourself. But I just don't know if he loves me. So why don't you go up to him and say, Roger, do you love me? It's Robert, and I'm not allowed to see him. In fact, it's your job to keep me away from him. You're right, and I take the responsibility very, very seriously. Just as this moment of feeling terribly, terribly jazzy, I'm afraid I need to have a lie you down. Now, whatever you do, don't go wandering through the garden seeking out your fiancé to ask him the question on which your future happiness depends. Such a skinny little fool. Still, I envy her. When will love come crashing through my door? I am Adolfo! Look who it is. It's Adolfo come to seduce the bride. I am Adolfo, and you are bride. No, I'm not. What? The soprano suite. You're the only one here. Therefore, you must be bride. Interesting argument, but I am afraid you are a moron. What? Me, no bride. Perhaps I can take a message. Yes, very good. To your Vandegraaff bride, I must take you to my arms. Just what you took ways of ecstasy. Soon as better. Signed, Adolfo, King of Romance. Well, you sought through my little ruse. You found me out. Ah, so you are the bride. Apparently, yes. Take me, Adolface. No, 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 no. Not Adolface, Adolfo. You must say the right name once for everything. How can I make you remember? I'm sure that you have heard the name Adolfo. A ladies' man who wins that claim, Adolfo. Well, lovely miss, I am the same Aldalfo. I introduce myself, I am Aldalfo. Nice to meet you, shall we? Not so fast! Now, just in case you didn't hear Aldalfo, I'll try to make it very clear, Aldalfo. The lovely ladies always cheer Aldalfo. When I repeat myself, I am Aldalfo. Understood. I can sing it high, Aldalfo. I can sing it low, Aldalfo. I can sing it very fast, Aldalfo. I can sing it very slowly. I do it now, but it would take hours. Now let us if you can, remember my name. I'll give it a shot. Now who's the fellow that you see? Aldalfo. And how should you refer to me? Aldalfo. And who is it I'll always be? Adolfo. Now sing it proudly. You are Adolfo. Now, let me spell it out for you. For all those lovely ladies who can hear for some reason. Maybe you're hard of hearing or something. I don't know. It goes out. And the only people that burst at the song are the hopelessly deranged. My Mr. Belding, it would seem that the wedding is proceeding according to schedule. Now it's time we received your just desserts. What do you say, partner? Should we whip up people. something special for Mr. Belding? <coughs> How about a Toledo's pride? An inspired choice. 
A Toledo surprise? I've never heard of that. No, you haven't. People who have heard of it are never heard from again. We'll share the recipe with you. First you chop the nuts, then you pound the dough, then you bake it up nice and slow. And then you got your Toledo, Toledo surprise. Can you run that by me again? It's a very simple recipe, Mr. Feldig. First you chop the nuts, then you pound the dough, then you bake it up nice and slow, and, and then, then you, you got, got your Toledo, Toledo surprise. <laughs> Say, why don't we give him a little taste? All right, hold it. What style, what grace, what rhythm? Open your fists, now shake them. Now give me that recipe one more time. Da 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 da, go. Chop the nuts, pound the dough, bake it up nice and slow. Then you got your Toledo, Toledo surprise. Now sell it. Pick the peach, feel the skin, push it up, throw it in. That's a piece of Toledo, Toledo surprise. Now you're cooking. Boys are natural. <laughs> Keep it up. I'll go work on the contracts. Hey! A five, six, seven, eight. Mr. Feldick, what's going on here? I'm developing a new act. You mean you're putting cases in the show and you won't put money in? They're not even yet. You got it all wrong. The new act is for you, Kitty, and these boys are your backup dancers. Backup dancers? Holy cow! What? That hot Toledo does to my libido. Good? Yes, indeed. Oh, sugary yum yum. Wait till it's ready. Wait till it's ready. 